Good morning, boys and girls. We are back for morning meeting today. Let's start off with our Alfred E. song. Get your apples ready. We're going straight in with M for munch. Ready? M for munch. Mm, mm, mm. N for nod. Mm, 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 mm. O for opera. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. P for push, p, p, p. Q for quiet, qu, qu, qu. R for run, er, 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 er. S for so, s, 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 T for talk, t, t, t. U for upside, up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh. V for volley, v, 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 w for wiggle, w, 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 X for x-ray, x, 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 Y for yawn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Z for zig, zig, z, 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 letter sounds is all you need. Put them together and you can read. Did you know that? Did you know that all the letter sounds make it easier for you to be able to read? All right, friends, time to sing our good morning song. Good morning, good morning, we're starting our day. Good morning, it's now time to work, learn, and play. Great job, pre-K. All right, we're going to do our chant again today that we learned yesterday. I will go first and then it will be your turn. Ready? We're glad Miss Rachel's here. We're glad Miss Rachel's here. Let's clap our hands and shout, hooray! We're glad Miss Rachel's here today. All right, when I say it's your turn, that means that you get to stand up. Ready? We're glad that you are here. We're glad that you are here. Let's clap our hands and shout hooray. We're glad you are here today. All right, friends, let's take a look at our message this morning. Today it says, good morning, friends. Today is, what is today? Yeah, today is t -t 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 Tuesday. Tuesday starts with the letter T. To make a T, we're going to start at the top, pull straight down, make the line across at the top. That is an uppercase T. Then we need a U, E, S, D, A, Y. And a period at the end to finish our sentence. Now we need to see who this message is from. Now I have my PM can and I am choosing one stick, not two. Oh, here, King's name. This message is from King today. Love, King. King starts with a K. K, K, K. So to draw, write a K, we're going to start at the top, pull straight down, and then we're going to do this in and out. It almost looks like a mouth. Do you see it? It goes k, 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 um, um, um. And then we have an I, an N, and a G. Let's read our message from the top to the bottom. Good morning, friends. Today is Tuesday. Love, King. King starts with a K. So today we're looking for capital case and lowercase k's in our message. Let's see if we have any. Are there any k's in good? No. How about in morning? No. Friends, I don't see any. Today? No again. Is? No. Tuesday? No. Love? No, and King starts with a K. Does he have any other K's in his name? Nope, so today we only have one K. Straight line one, it is fun. Did you hear those rhyming words? Yeah, we heard 
one, and fun. Let's clap them. One, fun, rhyme. They sound the same at the end. Nice job. All right, friends, it's time for word of the day. 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 Today we have two new words. These words are going to be maybe a little bit tricky today. So in this picture, I see a little girl who is t maybe taking a deep breath. So it would be close to breathing. But this is what she's breathing in. She's breathing in the air and the air has oxygen in it. So this is a big word, oxygen. It starts with an O, ah, ah, oxygen. So that's one word we can look for today during our read aloud. Let's clap these syllables, ready? Oxygen. Three, there are three syllables in oxygen. That's quite a big word. All right, our second one is what is going on in this picture? Sometimes they do this at the doctor's office or after you run. They are taking their pulse or it's like um, feeling for your heartbeat. Pulse. All right, let's clap pulse, ready? Pulse, only one syllable. We have three syllables in oxygen and we have one syllable in pulse. How many do we have? One, two, three, four. Four syllables all together. All right, friends, can you find your pulse? Do you know how to do that? If you feel here on your wrist, you might feel a heartbeat. Sometimes it's really hard to find. And sometimes if you're really good at it, you can find it right away. There's also a place right here under your jaw that you can feel, and sometimes you can feel your heartbeat there too. And that's how we would take our pulse. So I was thinking in our book, we have now discussed that it is about our bodies. And I bet these words are in this book. And there is a nice way to try to find out just about where these words are in this book. So if we were going to talk about the word oxygen, we already looked and we see her breathing in this air that has oxygen in it. So in our book, I'm going to go to the table of contents and I'm going to look for something that has to do with breathing. So I can see inside, outside, hair, skin, bones, who's in charge, breathing, blood. Oh, you heard it? You heard breathing in there? Okay, this says I should go to page 12. So let's go to page 12. On the bottom of every page, there are these nice little numbers and that tells me what page I'm on. This is page 12 and 13 and keep going, 14, 15, 16, 17. And this says breathing. You breathe air to get the oxygen your body needs. Air enters in through your mouth and nose, because you can breathe in through your nose and your mouth. Try it with me. Take a really nice deep breath. Oh, that feels so nice. It goes down your windpipe into your lungs. That means you can feel your chest move in and out, right? Go. Yeah, my lungs are filling with air and it's making me feel bigger or smaller when they let go. Oxygen from the air that passes through your lungs into your blood. Amazing. All right, let's see. Breathing goes, I'm gonna read that again. Breathing out gets rid of waste your body doesn't need. Try breathing into a mirror. It mists up because your breath is warm and wet. Have you guys ever done that where you went <sighs> onto a window and then on the window it became all foggy? 
And so lungs are on the inside of our body and our mouth and nose are on the outside of our body. You're right. Let's see what's on the next page. Ooh, I see our word oxygen already. This is talking about blood and it says oxygen in your lungs goes into your blood. Your heart pumps blood all around your body. Oh look, here's our other word of the day. It says you can feel a beat or can you feel a beat in your wrist like we talked about earlier. It's called your pulse. It's your heart pumping blood. Do you see how he's doing that? Just like we saw on our cards. Very cool. And then this also says, arteries carry blood full of oxygen around your body and veins carry blood that's low on oxygen back to your heart. And then it shows a picture of your heart and your lungs. It's amazing. What happens when you exercise? One, your puzzles, your muscles, not your puzzles, your muscles pull on your bones to make them move. Can you make a muscle move? How do you, I'm making my muscles move. Let's see. Two, your busy muscle muscles use up oxygen. I mean the oxygen from this page is on this page. Three, your muscles need more oxygen. You breathe faster to get more oxygen into your lungs. Have you ever noticed that? Where if you're running a whole bunch and then you're like, because <sighs> you're trying to catch your breath, so you have more oxygen in your lungs to send to your muscles. Your heart beats harder to get the oxygen into your blood and your muscles. Did you know that? So if you run around, your heart starts beating faster. You start breathing more heavily. All because our muscles need that oxygen and our blood brings that oxygen to our muscles. Go figure. We exercise with the outside of our body, like our legs and our feet, but the inside of our body, our muscles, needs more oxygen. How our body is amazing. Do you think our body is amazing? I sure do. All right, friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye, and I will see you tomorrow. Ready? Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye with a smile and a wink of my eye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. <laughs>